You are watching Outnumbered, and we are glad that you are. A head scratcher <laughs> coming from Maryland. The largest school district there has voted to strip references to all religious holidays from the school calendar. That includes Christian and Jewish holidays. So you can't say Christmas Day coming up, can't say, you know, Rosh Hashanah, none of that on the school calendar. This after Muslim leaders in that community ask that equal recognition be given to a Muslim holiday on the calendar. The school board's decision apparently left nobody happy. The school board basically stripped uh, any designation of Christmas, Easter, Rosh Hashanah, and Yom Kippur. And uh, as a member of the Muslim community, that's not what I was looking for. Sometimes I don't like it because everybody, every, because everybody gets their days off, and whenever I have celebrations, um, I don't get it off. Now, what's interesting before we start our conversation is that the school board said, look, we don't technically give people days off for those holiday periods. It's just that there are so many absences during, you know, Yom Kippur and Christmas that we put them on the calendar. Sounds like nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like nonsense. Yeah. Yeah, if that was the stupid. case, then, you know, deer hunting week in, uh, in Wisconsin would be a holiday, <laughs> too. <laughs> Love it. And Sandra would vote for that. No. Well, the, well, the day, the day I, after, I should be able to get the day off the day after the, the Super Bowl off. Right? So, right. Andrea, do you find it confusing that the Muslim community came forth and said, we want equal treatment. Well, now they're treating everybody equal, but, but they're not happy. Well, guess who wins? The atheists are pretty yeah. happy, right? They're right, celebrating. <laughs> There's no religion anywhere. Yeah. I, I would not want to deprive anybody from celebrating their religious experience. I actually think it's okay that they took these off the calendar. I don't like it, but I'm surprised that they didn't just take the Christian holidays off. That's been the trend. Mm -hmm. So if they can't be fair, take it off. Although personally, I think if you start listening to people complain, you're going to listen to the Canadians. Oh, it's Canadian Independence Day. Oh, wait a minute. You're going to end up no. filling the calendar with all these no, different we, holidays. We do, have, we do have a sizable Muslim minority in this country. They deserve their holiday. Um, I just don't know why they didn't just add the, the Muslim holiday. Well, and they didn't even have to add it. seems like Charles, they didn't have to add it because they holidays. actually, to be fair to the Muslims in this case, they actually said our holiday falls on Yom Kippur. Right. So will you just say Yom Kippur and then the specific Muslim holiday along with it? And well, what's wrong with that? I don't know why they chose to take it off. Frankie, this is why I send my kids to Catholic school because I don't like it's winter so much concerts. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't like winter concerts. You and I had a discussion about that. Winter starts actually later than the winter concert on the calendar. So you're not even teaching kids real no. information about and, when winter is. And they're teaching them the wrong songs. My friend went to a, a, a winter concert with her child and they sang, We wish you a happy holiday, which is not the lyrics of the song. Well, so this, we're, we're, you know, we're this, screwing up all uh, of this. This is part I of know, the same uh, sort of theory that we, we began with. And by the way, it's, it's Ward Churchill, not Ward Connolly. Ward Connolly is going to kill me for getting him mixed up with Ward Churchill on, on the, uh, the lefty <laughs> academic. But anyway, um, you know, this is part of the elitism of the, of the left. They don't like, they, you know, and how well has secular humanism worked for them where they've stripped all sorts of religion out of our, out of our public discourse. And by the way, this is a religious country. This is not an atheist country. They probably don't want it's, a lawsuit, it, though. I mean, think about how well, crazy the tyranny of the minority. Of. The ACLU? Yes. The school is cowering in their saying, boots. Let's Richard. get rid of everything and not get a lawsuit. Brings yep. up an interesting question, Sandra. Why not just add it to the calendar if there's an overlay? I mean, so there are years when Hanukkah and Christmas fall on the calendar Because together. Andrea is making the point that then there would have to be a many, many, many other holidays added. Why? And if not you many. It's the National Kilbasa Festival. No. It's the Wicca Festival. I mean, how many Wiccas are in the school. Yeah. I mean, you know. but I, I don't know. Just but add if to it's the, the minority and... tyranny that we're, that we're talking about, no, but this I mean, is a it's... sizable minority that just wants their day. Like I, we have, like, like other people I have just their day. Wish, I, listen, I think that they're right about that. I just wish that they would show the same kind. The Muslim community ought to be showing the same kind of tolerance of other faiths as they want us to show for them. And I think the, and the I think gentleman by example. soundbite we ran represented that. He said, yeah. my goal wasn't to get all Christian right. holidays mm -hmm. removed from the calendar. Yeah. So the, the goal was not achieved here, even though yeah. he was asking. But let's see him now right. come out and, and, and speak up against people who are... Uh -huh. I got a card last year that said, happy everything. <laughs> I repurposed it at a different time of the year. Because it's everything. Harris, that's the card you gave me. <laughs> oh, goodness. Regifter. Anyway. Alert. Speaking of winter, and it is not winter yet, but it is apparently looking like it. Rearing its ugly head early in many parts of the nation. Have you seen the pictures? Colorado. Mm. Well, it's supposed to look like that in Colorado. It's beautiful, except for it's five degrees. And that's, Ugh. that's not good. <laughs> it's also been snowing, as you can tell. We'll have a live weather report coming up. And Old Navy. I love their sweats. 
Defending its move to charge women more for plus size clothing, but not the men. Why the retail giant says it has no choice.